Hello everyone, this is Casey from iSugar. Today we have some news from the SGO team. They say the Mystica VR, they have a new edition coming up with some bug fixing as well as introducing a new preset for our iSugar C4XL rig. So I just download a new copy and check it out. So they are saying they have a very fast real-time optical pro stitcher and compatible to our best-selling rig. So I just drag in a new project and this is a very unusual project I will show you later. And they were shoot in a one-to-one -one square shape video but they were not showing nicely in this preview. But that's okay. I'm just calling in the preset from the menu. Look for the C4XL and open. We have something like this. Uh, the order may not be correct. I can rearrange the files and they are more or less okay now. So the red lines, it represent the stitching zone, the stitching bar, maybe the border in between different lenses. And the green line represent the uh, margin for the tolerance for the optical flow calculation. So you see along this red line, we have some uh, top of the trees, they were having some ghosts. They are misaligned a little, a little, a little for the light pole here. But there's a use optical flow button at the corner here. When I check it, the parametric area is becoming quite nice in a fraction of a second. And we can still adjust the range for the uh, the width of the green line for the tolerance. But you can just try in the first phase. I just leave it as is. As I said before, this is a very unusual video. I was just holding the four camera rig on my bare hand and vibrating very regularly. So the camera it was well synchronized, so the stage still hold even if I'm moving so fast. And you can see the girls are moving across this red line. There's a little ghosting, but it's still very nice when compared to the uh, color auto panel video 2.6. And even when the corner of the store, they're moving along the stitching zone, they're very okay. And this man coming through this side, go to the other side. It is very acceptable. I can say I'm very impressed with the one touch automatic parallax compensation quality like this. Well done, Miss Sticker, and hopefully, we can see a better performance in your next update. So, this is the end of my first test, and I'm uh, encouraging every one of you go download a new copy and try with your own footage. Uh, thanks for watching and hopefully we can see you all in Vienna.